Today we will be creating an invisible effect from one of my favorite movies. Not bad. So before we drive into the video, let's talk about our today's sponsor. The Ensa Film Emulation is a powerful plugin used by photographers and filmmakers to create the look and feel of classic film stocks in digital workflow. It offers a wide range of film stocks in digital, green, elation, glam, and color grading tools that bring a cinematic analog style to digital footage. The Ensa plugin is available for DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, After Effects and Premiere Pro, Photoshop and so on. Also available for iPhone, iPad and online. So go check the link in the description for 10% discount. So for me to get this effect done, I placed my camera on a tripod to stabilize the video and start the recording. Also, without forgetting to record the empty shot. For the second shot, I placed the camera hop just to capture everything within the environment. With my footage in the timeline, I'm going to name the first one video and name the second one video background. Click the auto brush tools and double click the video. Begin to mask out the subject. After done with the masking, right click on the video and pre-compose it. Make sure the point is on move all attributes into the new composition and OK. Go to effect and preset and search for displacement map effect. Add it to the video background and change the displacement map layer to our video. Off the video and play with the horizontal and vertical displacement. It will begin to show some kind of mirror effect like this. For the second shot, I repeat the same step which I first to go to hard the subject and duplicate the video. We compose it and add displacement map effect. Change the displacement layer to the video we pre-compose and turn off the first and the second video. Play with the settings and you should have something like this. Turn on both the video back and select the first one. Create a rough mask. Press M and click the watch time on the mask part. Move the keyframe forward to where you want the subject to start and the indicator back to where you want it to end. Increase the mask to show our subject like this. I've already cut the second video to exact point the frame is to match with the video. Press F on our video too and play with the mask. Better. Create a solid layer and press M. Move the indicator to our first keyframe. Select the mask and copy it. Click the solid layer and paste the mask. Move the indicator back and adjust the mask. Press U and cut out the remaining keyframes. Add vector noise and play with the settings. Add tint effect and change the color to like orange. Add perfect glow effect and change the mode to add. Duplicate the layer and move it below the video. Change it to alpha mask and turn on the video back. Press M and change the mask to subtract. So there we go. Hope you enjoy and until next time we meet, keep creating epic videos.